Hello guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming and Tech Productions and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix OpenGL32 errors. So if you guys have ever been trying to run a game and you get a pop-up and it says something about there you're not being able to run a app because you don't have OpenGL inside of a folder or something. Well today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that and I know you guys may want, might be wondering why have you not been recording and uploading well that's mainly because school has started so i've been trying to focus on that and i want to make sure that everything is straight so i can keep doing youtube of course and even before that i just you know it's been hard to find videos uh video ideas so please go ahead and go into the comments and just you know drop like a video idea like it can be gaming whatever but just please give me some video ideas so i can keep pushing out some more videos so if you guys end up enjoying this video please make sure to subscribe like and turn notifications and now let's go into the video so let's go ahead and get started so if you guys have ever been getting anything like the program can't start because of opengl 32dll is missing from your computer try reinstalling the program to fix this problem or if you've gotten this today i will be showing you guys how to fix this and it's not that hard it's just like pretty much any other um dll file and i actually made a video for the assassin's creed valhalla where you couldn't open it and it's kind of like that but instead of having an application that will force it to run there's actually a file the opengl32.dll that you want to download and put inside of that folder so in today's case i'm going to be using rocket league and i'll just show you guys how to put the opengl32.dll inside of that folder now disclaimer this does not mean that the game will run well and it'll have good performance. This this is just basically trying to bypass this because if you get this error, that basically means that your graphics card does not support OpenGL. So, I mean, if you can still run the game and it has good performance, then I guess that's good. But if it doesn't, then just know that this video is not for, for getting good performance. It's mostly just being able to perform uh, to bypass this error so first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website i actually have the link in the description so go ahead and go down there i will have all the links in this video which i'm pretty sure there will only be one but go ahead and go to the latest one if you're watching this like a long a long time if you're watching this in the future you just pick the uh, newest version and just press download now i already have it but i'll just i'll click it And once you download it, you want to, it, you know, I'm using a free download manager. I'll make a video about that, but yeah, go ahead and open it. And what you want to do is now, once you have it open in WinRAR, you want to go down into files and you want to go find the game that you want to um, fix or the game that is having that error. So I don't currently have that error, but I just, I thought that would be a good video. This would be a good video to make. So just go to the game so i'm gonna go to my rocket league just go to the uh file location you can always click on the shortcut and do open file location or if epic games just go follow where i'm going local disk program files um epic games and then find the game i want to do rocket league and you want to find the place that holds a whole bunch of dll's so you see right here it has millions of dll's this is where you want to put it so like let's say in with um fortnite same thing, you would wanna find, most of the time it'd be like binaries and go to Win64. So basically just make sure that you find the Win64 folder. If there isn't one, just try to find a binaries folder or a folder that holds a whole bunch of DLL files. Now what you wanna do is now that you have found the um, the file location and where all the other DLLs are, you want to go to the binaries and go to the DLLs and go to that folder and make sure that you keep it. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click up here where the um, path is and press Control c now once you do that you want to go ahead and go to back back into WinRAR, and you want to right click and then extract to a specified folder now once you do that you'll see that it'll give you a choice on where you want to download to now to make this a lot easier and not having to move this manually you want to just go ahead and extract it to the actual folder now you want to get the path that you just copied and paste it right up here and then once you do that it should you just wait a minute for the load and then it, it will load now you just go to uh now this is what you want to make sure you do if you do have a win64 folder and it has all the dll's inside of it you don't put it in, in like in the actual folder like uh, like 
this right here the message don't put it into the win 64 so you want to click on win 64 if you have that or just click on the name of the folder that holds all the dolls and then press okay now i'm not going to do that just in case that messes up anything i doubt it will but if my rock league is running well right now i don't want to mess up anything but that's pretty much it um if you guys have any other type of errors with games like games won't run or it crashes in the beginning which i do have a video that um that i have in mind but i i, I doubt anybody plays the game anymore but if you guys have any games like fortnite or if you have any errors with games that won't launch at all now i won't be doing um pirated games i i don't do those so pick games that are from like steam and epic games and you're having a error running them and it just like and you know for sure that it'll run on your pc or you just want to test it but if you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.